good morning class 8 children today chapter number 18 will be taken which is as a pollution of air and water so children as the name is showing we are going to study about pollution of water and air and uh, also going to study about the causes what are the causes of water and air pollution and plus case study also for air pollution we'll discuss the case study of taj mahal and uh, for water pollution we will be discussing the case study of ganga river before moving further let's discuss the key terms of this chapter few are there so first key term kindly let me know the meaning of this air pollution switch on your cameras each one raise your hands those who know the answer yes varuni the uh, substances which contaminate the air are called air pollu pollution okay or uh, you can see in what uh, you have learned already this word has been given the first term air pollution is a combination of air by the impurities which may be a harmful impact on the living organism and the non living components so you may write down this definition for air pollution okay number 2 is a chemical contamination chemical contamination yes anshika and chemical impurities okay simple you know chemically contamination you know this word that are the impurities so chemical impurities are known as chemical contamination next is global warming it's very common word global warming yes anya mam the increase in the temperature of earth's atmosphere okay so you can uh, see one two three fourth point of this what you have learned increased level of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide i uh, leads to global warming okay it leads to global warming so you can mark this also as a global warming definition next is a greenhouse effect okay na yes beta sure aditya unmute and speak greenhouse effect yeah. uh, the trap the trapping of radiation by the earth's atmosphere is similar that is why it is called the greenhouse effect it is page number of uh, 242 beta kindly speak again greenhouse the trapping of radiation by the earth's uh, atmosphere is similar that is why it is called the greenhouse effect okay yes ananya jain if you want to speak for, okay beta fine tell the page number also ditya jain uh 242 242 yes ananya jain same definition greenhouse effect ma'am i have also find from the book it same the same definition you can mark 242 page number greenhouse effect next word is pollutant what are pollutants yes prateksha pollutants are the substances which contaminate air and water okay so this second second is there second sentence pollutants are the substances which contaminates air and water okay and next will ananya prasad potable water ma'am uh, potable water water which is suitable for drinking okay so second last is called potable can... water okay beta fine what you have learned second last point see on the screen water which is purified and fit for drinking is known as potable water next last is water pollution so what can we write down as a water pollution varuni okay water pollution is the contamination of water by substances harmful to life okay good okay aditya you can speak mm -hmm. uh, water pollution means that we are adding some uh, materials to the water which spoil its quality and change its smell and color okay fine fine this can also be taken water pollution yes anshika you want to say 
Ma'am, pollutants that pollute water is known as water pollution. Okay, you can take this point. Fourth last point of what you have learned. Water pollution is the contamination of water by substances harmful to the to us. So, when the pollutants are added into the water, water gets contaminated. Okay, that causes the water pollution. So, children, these were the key terms. So, you can write down the aim of this chapter. Like in this chapter, we are going to study the case. Uh, we are going to study case study of two. One is of Agra and second is of uh, Ganga River. And second thing you can write down that we'll be discussing causes, effects of water and air pollution. So let's continue with it. I will uh, be giving the hint of this chapter. As you know, only the MCQs will be there, but for the MCQs even you have to learn the complete chapter. Okay, so let's read this chapter. I am saying everyone to switch on their cameras so that I can see you. Kindly get up and switch on your cameras. Few of the children are there who are in regular contact. They are switching on the cameras and rest are not. So sit in the position so that you can switch on the cameras. And only those children will be reading whose camera is on. Yes, Anshika Agarwal continue after followed by Varuni. Let's read this chapter quickly so that uh, you can get what is there. And afterwards, children, day before yesterday, I told you for preparing the flip teaching of this chapter. Kindly prepare side by side. Continue better. Haley and Buju were very excited to hear the news that Taj Mahal in Agra is now one of the seven wonders of the world. But they were disappointed to hear that the beauty of this monument in white marble is being threatened by air pollution in the area surrounding, by, surrounding the Taj. They were eager to know if something can be done to fight the air and water pollution. We, all, we, we are all aware that our environment is not what, is, what it used to be. Our elders talk about the blue sky, clean water and fresh air that was uh, available in their times. Now the media regularly reports on the falling quality of the environment. We ourselves we feel the impact of the falling quality of air and water in our lives. The number of people suffering from diseases of the respiratory system, for example, is steadily ri rising. We should uh, to imagine a time when clean air and water may no longer be available. You have learned about the importance of air and water in your previous classes. In this chapter, we will study about the harmful changes taken pla taking place in our surroundings and their effect on our lives. So children, I think it, uh, it's clear with it that uh, we are going to study about the harmful changes that are taking place in our surroundings and that are going to affect our lives so both we are going to study air and water pollution okay next varuni and afterwards saksham vasanwal will continue 18.1 air pollution we can survive for some time without food but we cannot survive even a few minutes without air the simple fact tell us about how important clean air is to us you already know that air consists of mixture of gases by volume about 78% of mixture in nitrogen and about 21% is oxygen. Carbon dioxide, argon, methane, uh, ozone and water vapor are also present in very small quantities. So children, you can, underline, you can underline this how much vol by volume, how much percentage of different gases is present. The maximum is nitrogen. After that, 21% is oxygen. Afterwards, few of very less are present, carbon dioxide, argon, methane, ozone, and water vapors are there. So children, already you know that uh, how much smog is there. So in activity 18.1, you know already. Kindly read this paragraph. Afterwards, he will be continuing. Okay, ma'am. 
One of your observation in the above activity could be the differences in the amount of smoke in the atmosphere. Do you, do you know where the smoke could have come from? Additional of such substances to the atmosphere modifies it. When air is contaminated by unwanted substances which have a harmful effect on both the living and non-living, the living and non-living, it is referred to as air pollution. Okay. So air pollution is going to harmful to harmful effect on both living as well as non-living. So when air gets contaminated, means contamination means when the things we do not want like smoke is there, smoke is there, unwanted substances are there in the air, the air gets polluted and it's not going to pollute only the living, both gets affected, living as well as non-living, okay? Next, Saksham Vasanwal will continue. How does air gets polluted? So let's study about it. The substances which contaminate 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 the air called air pollution sometimes such substance may come from natural sources like smoke and dust children kindly underline that from where these pollutants come how air gets polluted so these come from the kindly read dust arising from forest rise or volcano eruption poll pollutants are also added to the atmosphere by certain human activities. The source of air pollutant are factories, power plant, aut automobile exhaust and burning of the firewood and during cakes. So better you can write down here that these are the sources of air pollution. Kindly put a mark on it. Sources of air pollution. So this question may be there, sources of air pollution. Okay, after that, okay, Saksham. Next, Prateksha. Many respiratory problems continue from here. Many respiratory problems are caused by air pollution. Let us now try to find out the substances or pollutants which are present in the polluted air. Have you noticed how rapidly the number of vehicles is increasing in our cities? Vehicles produce high levels of pollutants like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and smoke. Carbon monoxide is produced from incomplete burning of fuel, such as petrol and diesel. It is a poisonous gas. It reduces the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. Okay, children. Do you know? Okay, Prateksha. So, children, here in this paragraph, you know how the air gets polluted. The vehicles produce high level of the pollutants like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides and smoke. Kindly mark it. This is, here is a very important question or you may get this question as an MCQ only. Which gas is more harmful? Either carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. Can I have the answer? And how, how carbon monoxide is produced? Which is harmful among both? Dioxide or monoxide? Anybody, any uh, reason or uh, who know the answer? Yes, Ananya? Ananya? Mon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is much harmful. Kindly make a question over here. Why it is harmful? First of all, first reason is this. is It is produced from the incomplete combustion of fuels. When the burning of fuel is in the incomplete oxygen and it is poisonous gas, it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. So oxygen, it stops the oxygen to reach to the organs. And uh, due to that, the organs get failed. So that's why carbon monoxide is much harmful as compared to the carbon dioxide. So here is uh, one box. Do you know if the vehicles registered in the daily are lined up one after the another, the total length would be nearly equal to the combined length of two longest river in the world. Nile and Amazon. So much of the vehicles are there in Delhi. We are talking about the capital city. 
much of the vehicles are there so if we join all the vehicles it will form a longest line okay so this is a one of the major reason also okay pratiksha you have read ananya prasad continue bujo remembers bujo remember seeing a stick fog like layer in the atmosphere especially during winter this is this is smoke which is made up of smoke and fog smoke okay. may One contain oxides wait, wait, wait. smog smog is a mixture of smoke plus fog children keep on underlining in your book i am telling you by the for the mcq purpose smog is a mixture of smoke plus fog okay and what does it contain kindly mark it what does smoke contains continue beta smoke may contain oxides of nitrogen which combine with other air pollutants and fog is form smoke the smoke causes breathing difficulty such as asthma cough and wisping in children wheezing in children so kindly mark it children which diseases are caused by the smog so asthma cough wheezing in children that is caused so this paragraph is about smog okay it's a combination of smoke plus fog or after that smoke it contains the oxides of nitrogen which combine with the air pollutants and fog to fog form the smog especially you have seen the smog during the winter season nowadays uh, before 2 3 days you have, must have seen the smog that are the air pollutants also and smog is formed due to that next continue beta okay ma'am many industries are also responsible for causing air pollution petroleum ref refining refining are are a major source of gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide sulfur dioxide is produced by combustion of fuel like coal in power plant it can cause respiratory problem including permanent lung lung damage you have already studied about the burning of fuels fossil fuel in class 5th okay so even in the 5th already you know that uh, in chapter number 6 combustion chapter combustion and flame we had read the causes of air pollution and the effects of air pollution so children industries is a major cause for the air pollution and petroleum refineries also they produces a lot of smoke and the pollutants like uh, this uh, oxides of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide okay and after that you know that is a uh, that causes a respiratory diseases what type of respiratory diseases permanent lung lungs damage can also be there so these are the worst effects of air pollution so first of all you had read the sources sources of air pollution ye ye bhi hai aapke paas dekho do teen three things you will be preparing sources effects sources you know petroleum refineries and uh, this uh, coal plants in power plants combustion of fuels many industries vehicles these all are the sources of air pollution okay next ananya jain continue you can mark the uh, full form of cfcs full form of cfcs is chlorofluorocarbons which are another kind of pollutants and it is again very much harmful other kinds of pollutants are chloro chlorofluorocarbons which are used in refrigerators air conditioners and aerosol sprays as cfs CFCs damage the ozone layer of the atmosphere. Recall that the ozone layer protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Have you heard of the ozone hole? Try to find out about it. Thankfully, less harmful chemicals are now being used in CFCs. In addition okay, so to the above mentioned second, gases, wait, or wait, wait, wait. We had read first. We had read the uh, oxides of sulfur and nitrogen. Second. in this paragraph we have read about cfcs 
and children from where the cfcs where we are using the cfcs in the refrigerator acs and aerosol sprays so and you know they damage the what is the effect of CF, cfcs they affect the or they damage the ozone layer and i think you know ozone layer what it how it is going to help us they protect us from the uv rays okay continue with the next paragraph In addition to the above mentioned gases, automobiles which burn diesel and petrol are produced tiny particles which remain suspended in air for long, long periods. They reduce visibility when inhaled. They cause diseases. Such particles are also produced during industrial processes like steel making and mining. Power plants give out tiny ash particles which also pollute the atmosphere. Okay, so beta again. how the air gets polluted so they produces the tiny particles which remain suspended in the air for a long period and you must have seen in the morning the visibility is very very less due to the presence of smog in the air so and that causes much of the problems and uh, these are the causes the steel making mining these industrial processes this is necessary also but they causes a much of the pollution in the air tiny particles are released okay so this was the sources effects of air pollutants next we'll study the case study first we are going to study about the taj mahal yes ananya kahara continue okay ma'am taj mahal over the past two decades india's most famous tourist attraction taj mahal located in agra has become a has become a matter of concern experts have warned that pollution that pollutants in air are discoloring its white marble so it is not only living organisms that get affected by polluted air but non living things like buildings monuments and statues statues also get affected the industries located in and around agra like rubber processing automobile chemicals and especially mathura oil refineries have been responsible for producing pollutants so children it's like very very important kindly underline what things are you know the color of taj mahal is uh, becoming yellowish it is decoloring so what is the reason what is the reason the industries located in and around agra like rubber processing automobiles and specially the mathura or refineries that are responsible for producing the pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide you should, so you should know the reason that uh, why the color of taj mahal is going to be decolorized it is going uh, becoming yellowish yes continue after that aditya shah you can also read these industries located in a यहां से करिए दीज गैसेस रिएक्ट विद वाटर वेपर दीज गैसेस रिएक्ट विद द वाटर वेपर प्रेजेंट इन द एटमॉस्फेयर फ्रॉम सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एंड नाइट्रिक एसिड द एसिड्स ड्रॉप डाउन विद रेन मेकिंग द रेन एसिड्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एसिड रेन एसिड रेन क्रॉट्स द मार्बल ऑफ द मॉन्यूमेंट द फिनोमिन फिनोमियन इज आल्सो कॉल्ड मार्बल कैंसर Suspend, suspended particular matter such as the soot particle emitted by mathura oil refinery has contributed to toward the yellowing of the marble okay, the wait, supreme wait, court has wait, wait, taken wait 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 so in this paragraph two three questions are there first question is what is acid rain and what is the effect of acid rain on the monument taj mahal it corrodes the marble and that phenomena is known as marble cancer so children aapko ye bhi aa sakta hai what is marble cancer so marble cancer ka kya matlab hai the marble is going to be affected by the acid rain so that is known as a marble cancer and one thing more is there here is spm i had written full form of spm aapko aa sakta hai 
फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एस पी एम इज सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकुलेट मैटर गॉट इट काइंडली ओपन यूर बुक्स एंड कीप ऑन राइटिंग द क्वेश्चन so in this paragraph we are going to study the taj mahal about taj mahal why the color of taj mahal is uh, decolorizing that reason we have find it out after that acid rain is also going to affect the taj mahal and afterwards the marble cancer and afterwards the full form of spm you should know all it okay beta next continue next paragraph what supreme court has done Supreme the Supreme Court has, Court has taken. The Supreme Court has taken several steps to save Taj. It is ordered industries to switch to cleaner fuels like CNG, compressed natural gas, and LPG, liquid petroleum gas. Moreover, the automobiles should switch over to unleaded petrol in Taj zone. to discuss with your elders and see what they have to say about the condition of taj 20 or 30 years ago try to procure a picture of taj mahal for your scrapbook so here is uh, <clears throat> i am reminding of the chapter on the crops i wonder whether acid rain affect the soil or plants also so can i have the answer from your side acid rain does it affect the लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग बोथ सो क्या ये प्लांट्स और सॉइल को भी इफेक्ट करता है एसिड रेन वी हैड रेड इन चैप्टर वन डज इट अफेक्ट येस इट्स गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड एज ऑन द प्लांट्स एंड सॉइल सॉइल बिकम्स मोर एसिडिक ओके एंड इफ द सॉइल विल बी मोर एसिडिक देन टू इट्स नॉट गुड वी नीड टू न्यूट्रलाइज इट इन क्लास सेवन इन चैप्टर फाइव यू हैव रेड we need to neutralize the effect of it okay and so this plants whenever the acid rain falls on the plants even plants get suffered from the diseases either they get also spoiled because of the more acidity so children this was the and kindly underline this also what the government has done so government has you know that is uh, switched to the cleaner fuel which is a cng and lpg okay and unleaded petrol unleaded petrol means free from impurities you must have whenever you visited the petrol pump shayad aapne kabhi wahan pe pada ho unleaded petrol it is written so specially in the taj zone near areas so only the vehicles will be using this unleaded petrol okay so this was the case study of taj mahal and uh, we had read about the air pollution so rest will be continue afterwards